Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today we are going to be making Italian almond cookies. They are wonderful, easy to put together and you're going to love them. So the first thing you want to do is have your oven preheating to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and let's go over the ingredients we'll be needing here. So here we have some almond flour, some salt, you'll need some egg whites, uh, vanilla extract, almond extract, You'll also need some regular sugar and some icing sugar, the zest of one lemon, and you'll need some whole, just regular uh, almonds. And um, that's about it. You also want to have a cookie sheet already lined with some parchment paper. And let's move on to making our cookies. Okay, so I'm going to be making my cookies in my standing mixer here, but most definitely just in a regular bowl will work just fine. So into our bowl here, we are going to add in our dry ingredients, our almond flour and salt. Okay, we're also going to add in our regular sugar and icing sugar. We will also need about four tablespoons more of icing sugar, but that'll be just to roll our cookies in before we bake them. And we will also add in our lemon zest. Just give that a quick mix to incorporate all of these ingredients. Now, if you notice that your almond flour is a bit lumpy, it has some um, lumps in it, then you can sift it. Okay, you can do that as well. Okay, this looks great. We are ready to add in our vanilla. Our oven is preheated. Okay. And we are also going to add in some almond extract. Now when measuring your almond extract, always be careful because these extracts are very potent and it might be a little strong, but usually the vanilla I never do because that one is always fine. Okay, and now we will add in our egg whites and we are going to give this a good mix. Okay, our dough looks just wonderful. And now we are ready to um, use our ice cream scoop. We're going to be using a small ice cream scoop, which is about the measurement of a tablespoon. And then we will be rolling them in some icing sugar and just placing an almond on top. Just keep watching so I will show you how I make them. We're ready to bake our cookies at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes or when you notice that they are a nice light golden brown. I'll meet you right back here as soon as they're baked. Okay, so my cookies baked for exactly 17 minutes. Now this recipe will give you about 24 cookies. Now a little tip that I did not show you while making my first batch is when you roll your cookies and place the little dough balls on top of the tray, you just want to press them very so lightly on the top a little bit just to flatten it very, very gently, just a little bit. And then you can place your almond on top and that will give you more of the crackling um, effect on the cookies. They look wonderful. They are beautiful even if you don't do it and very delicious as well But I do suggest that you do it because they are so much prettier when you do that I did do it on my second batch, but on the first batch I didn't so you want to allow them to cool at least 15 20 minutes before you actually try them and um, So I think it's about time for us to do that They are simply wonderful. They are most definitely um, the same, if not better than the almond cookies that you find at your local Italian bakery. They are chewy, soft, flavorful. The almond flavor is just perfect and it is just wonderful. And I really hope you guys give this one a try. And that's about it. So easy to put together. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye everyone.